this video is the will of Aretha Franklin. Definitely get there, give an intro, go to the celebrity gossip site, celebs, review the archives of State of the Black Parent Blog Talk Radio, engage with us on Instagram, Pinterest, and of course on here, and share, like, and subscribe to our videos, and don't forget to press that bell. So, uh, they have this here... It's been on multiple media outlets. Uh, if you want to see the artists that are going to be at her services, it is on the Instagram page. It is expected to last at least five hours minimum. And I have been at a service of a relative of mine. I was two hours late for that funeral, and that funeral was still over two hours. And um, let me tell you. You better make sure you don't go there hungry, okay? Make sure you get your, you, you better have your repast before you get to the service. You better have your good thick breakfast and some snacks to be sneaking off to the outside like a cigarette break, okay? But for those of us that's been to that type of stuff, you know, we know we love it. Okay. So, let me tell you. With... Aretha Franklin's, uh, and this is, this here, I'm not even, it's nothing that needs to be an estimate on this here, it's just simple common sense with the matter, okay, she didn't marry the guy, you wasn't put in the will, it automatically goes to her children, now as a courtesy, just to give him a, a thank you appreciation, or just to keep it to where, you know, he don't feel like, you know, uh, you know, two left out. I say three percent. Be satisfied, I, cause eighty million dollars—that's a lot of money for you to get there and think that you gonna compete with her children. Like the children, automatic, regardless. You know, it's unfortunate what happened with the Hilton family estate with Jaja uh, Gabor and stuff like that. That's unfortunate. Um, but. 91%, okay, you know they got to, you know, they're going to eventually, uh, estates shouldn't be taxed. I don't know what the Michigan state laws is and so forth like that, but estates and inheritance, to me, just should not be taxed. Because when you go to the store, you're going to pay taxes, and the people that you get that money to, they're going to have to pay taxes on that. So, and you know, all that, you, 91% is automatically uh, for them. Like, it, it's to be split even for each child, because one child has to be, uh, let me say offspring, because they're grown, they're super grown, they ain't like no orphan, orphan, or, you know what I'm saying, they ain't get to know her, so, so you know, somebody may come along on my channel, because I meet all kind of crazy characters, and I be like, well, who's Aretha Franklin? But, you know, one child's gonna have to have devoted care, um, and they need their share to take, you know what I'm saying, so that they can have their persons with them. And then each of the other families split. Like, okay, it's not hard. To, you know what I'm saying? It ain't hard. Eighty divided by four, if that's what they say the estate is worth. And at the same time, this guy's claiming that he should have rights to it. I, I, he sure ain't going to probably be there uh, responsible to be claiming no rights to death. Because, see, people get there and they'll claim... Or uh, they, they'll come with a claim or all oh, shout into something, um, come diving into something behind some money, but they won't get there and pay the taxes and the upkeep on it and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not aware, uh, I, and I'm a person, like I say, I am a fan, okay? I am that person that when I was up in uh, graduating from the eighth grade and they had songs to, to, to put in, I put those songs in of course I was told they did not match. Uh, that it was too outdated, didn't go. I remember one of the songs was A Deeper Love. Uh, what was that other song that she had? I'm trying to think of some other song she had uh, that I had put down. I think we had a choice of six songs to put down. And I put down at least two or three Aretha Franklin songs. And uh, she had something about a light. 
That was what the other song I put down. Now today, maybe if I remember the song, could I see a deeper love? And unless we was a professional performing choir, and then I was thinking also about Sister Act Two that came to mind uh, for that graduation. But you know, down in that bayou where I was at, they wasn't on it. Okay, not with me anyway. Let's just say the majority, not all, the percentage. So, um, this is not really a hard debate at all. This is, you know, this shouldn't be something where a judge get there or, or you should try to take the court. Never married the person. You're not the father of any of the children. Didn't leave you with any children to take care of. If they give you a courtesy 3%, and I'm going to say 10% at the max, that, that, that's all they need to settle and offer to you. But the thing was, are you just asking for something like, hey, I need some care? Like, did this person help work? How did they help Aretha Franklin career? This is the stuff that, you know, we're, we're inquiring about because I watch many of her interviews. I mean, I watch her interviews like I would watch the Winans interviews, okay? So I know at least about 90% of Aretha Franklin appearances, uh, uh, every song she's had. I've had her CDs. Uh, I didn't get to see her in concert because she, to my knowledge, didn't come down except for like Essence Fest and those tickets were... But... As you get older, you learn ways that you could have made ways, but it was something that you didn't know. I just would have went out. Ooh. I know I could have been went out, but, you know, I should have did it with more faith. But I never got to see her in concert, but I was a, 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 ever since a little girl, little young, a young to toddler, upper toddler, elementary, uh... I was that person that loved her music. I'm telling you, I loved her. Like, I love, like, I'm telling you, who? Dion Warwick and Twinkie Clark. Oh, my goodness. Those are some of my favorite artists, okay? And I'm just definitely with this um, Will thing that it doesn't be dragged out. It's between our four children, and uh, I, I, gratefully that they're, the three of them are all, I, 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 I prospect responsible, or, or that that's my motivation for them, that they are responsible to split this up. Because that, that's a lot of money to be trying to get them be hog over and everything like that. It needs to be split properly, even what you do with your share is your business, but don't come back on my end once you do, you know what I'm saying, if you mess up your part. You know, prodigal son. Uh, but now it is the exception for, you know, the one that's, uh, what you call him? The one that's disabled. Because they're going to probably need a little, you know, the other three may have to take some of their portions a little bit, you know, but I guess, you know, prospectively they have a, uh, you know, a place that's able to tend to them, you know, get them good occupational therapy, you know, so forth like that. Uh, as far as I know, it's only one that's uh, disabled. And, you know, then you know, uh, who else got, oh yeah, the record label, they gonna get this, I, I don't know she if, if, how you owe the record label or if the old albums that she have, if they stream, they collect from that. Well, you get the after portion of that, you know, duh to that, you know, whatever sell from Arista, whatever sell on Atlantic and the other record labels that she didn't have and other shares and memorabilia and all that kind of stuff like that. You know, and it's, you know, uh, her, you know, her children, if you're coming into a relationship with someone famous or not famous, you, sh you know what I'm saying? If you're not coming with the heart of gold, if, you, if you're not coming with the heart of gold and silver, heart of gold, silver, <laughs> uh, you really just, uh, you just really need to just, uh, just take it at a loss when things end, especially, you know, I've seen so many situations where people get there, they take the money, but they don't properly attend and, and emotionally support or so forth fit in you know for the offspring she sacrificed a lot with these children 
you know, with touring. Uh, they said she wouldn't ride an airplane, and she did do some events overseas. So I'm like, well, how did she go over there? She had to go over there on a ship. Uh, she had to go. They got a ship. They got a, uh, some other things, too. I don't know. They, they ain't never uh, elaborate after, you know. But I know she didn't do some events overseas. Um, and and I, 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 I know you can't drive in no car, ride the Greyhound overseas. So maybe Carnival took her. Um, you know, she didn't have to sacrifice between, she hadn't been able to, she most likely missed milestones, between, you know, with those children. Uh, she had all boys, so she had to have other people raise them instead of herself, not going to their rehearsals, like I said, um, just missing out on a lot of their lives, you know, uh, touring and entertaining everyone else and uh, making sure she keep up with her business and, 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 and you know, just everything and, and taking care of probably most likely a neighborhood of probably three, four generations, if not more, you know. It, <sighs> So her children are the soul. It's not a debate about it. She has children, all four of them. It's all that, and the ones that are disabled are the ones that, uh, you know, they're going to have to get a little bit more share because it's going to take a lot to provide, uh, you know, the occupational therapy or whatever th therapies they need, but they should be getting the best, and hopefully they ain't getting no Claudine type, and nobody should be getting no Claudine type services, okay? I, I, I don't care, ain't nobody, you know, unless you just really don't want to do nothing in life, and, and you not a child, or, or you know, then, then that's one thing, but I, I, you know, I don't care if you is poor or, or whatever like that, you still shouldn't be getting no Claudine type, uh, like, services. Whew. Come back to the reason why we can't do mental health in our community. You can't even get there and get fed. Then you got GMO food. So you're going to go to the person that get there and allow you to be vaccinated with aborted fetuses and everything else for matter how that's for dead folks and go get mental health from them too? Yeah, yeah, this this comes back to my point about, you know, like I say, I just I, I just perspect that this, this, you know, whatever child or children that are disabled, that they are not getting there. Uh, that they are not getting there and uh, getting any type of generic services is my point. They should be getting the best, the gifted services. Like, you know, like all of us should be getting. It shouldn't be like you shouldn't be getting services for your health and your humanity based on your classism. But I definitely, this one here definitely needs to be because, you know what I'm saying, um, I know at least the firstborn is disabled. I don't know the conditions of, I, I know she has normal children, but, uh, I, I know one is, at least one or two are disabled. I ain't even trying to decipher through all that. I'm just, not at all. But, hey, life ain't hard. Just, just, just do the best you can with this here, and, um, hopefully this not brought up as a topic again. Talk to y'all later, and, um. Y'all don't forget to watch the other videos on this channel as you subscribe and press that bell because there are over 200 videos on here. And thanks for all those of you that attended.